점수 잡는 hackers. For number four, they said in the autumn, a young maple tree is expected to shed its leaves at an average rate of 500 leaves per day. So they're suggesting some relationship, per day relationship of shedding leaves. So what does it mean to shed its leaves? It means releasing them. So you're decreasing the number of leaves on the tree. And they said on October 1st, the tree has approximately 30,000 leaves. Which of the following models the leaves remaining x days after october 1st so initially this is your starting number and you're decreasing it by 500 per day so the amount or the number of leaves left would be initial minus the rate or the slope associated with it so i think we do have a model that brings everything together and the correct answer is b right Alrighty. So let's move on to number five you do see the i variable what does that represent the imaginary number of i by definition, they were nice enough to provide it. It's the square root of negative value, right? And they're asking for the simplified form of 2 minus i multiplied by 2 plus i. It's a complex conjugate form, but simply put, what does it refer to? We have a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And do you guys know what this is? You guys should have this memorized by now, right? So it's going to be equivalent to a squared minus b squared. So equivalent form, 4 minus, good, a or i squared. What is the value of i squared? It's going to be negative 1. So if you were to substitute it, you have an overall value of a positive 5, and that's it, okay? So you need to be able to simplify this without using a calculator. Just in case it does come up in a little bit more complicated form, let's try to simplify the trend here. So by definition, i is, it's on the question, negative 1, square root. And what is the value of neg uh, i squared? We just found it. You square the entire expression, so it becomes negative 1. What about i cubed? You're multiplying another i value to it, so it becomes negative i. And what is it raised to the fourth power? You have a positive 1, and it repeats this process four times. Okay? Very good. So moving on to number six, they're presenting a condition, and I think we should model this together. So starting with the initial information, they said line R has a slope of negative four-third and contains two specific points, three comma six and one comma k. With the two points, I think we are able to define the slope value. So they're asking for the specific value of k, and let's just transform this into an equation form. How do you find the slope with two points? It's going to be rise, over run, which simply means the change of y. So let's do y2, negative y1, and then x2, negative x1. And I'm going to let the first value be x1, y1, x2, and y2. And let me just input some of the values together, okay? So let's start with y2. It has a value of k, and my y1, value of 6. X2 has a value of 1, negative 3, overall negative 4 thirds. And all you have to do is simplify the ratio and find your value of k. So when you do this, we have k minus 6. What is the denominator here? A negative value of 2. And then we have negative 4 thirds. So you do cross multiplication. And I think we are left with 3 times k minus 6 has to be equal to a positive value of 8. So you divide 3 both sides and you can erase it on the left hand side. And the final step, add a value of 6 for both sides. And this is going to be your k value. And you guys can do this without the use of a calculator, right? You match up the common denominator, so it's going to be 18 over 3. You add it up and I think you do get a match. Okay, so the correct answer is D. So let's move on to number seven here. They're presenting an equation right off the bat. That's what you see, right? You have E is equal to mc squared. Does that look familiar? Einstein's equation of energy, mass, and the speed of light. Well, anyways, if you go through the answer choices, you can solve this without actually reading the question. We have the equation rearranged in terms of C. So what do you think? Oh, maybe that's all I need to do. So if you wanted to rearrange this, leave the C on the right side, you would divide it by M and you put a square root. So let me just write it out for you. C squared is equivalent to E over M. How do you get rid of the square. 
you square root both sides, so you delete or erase this, and you put square root, and you're looking for the equivalent form. And I think the exact match does not exist, but it, when you rationalize this entire equation by multiplying it by square root of 3 top and bottom, you do have your final answer here. The denominator gets rid of the square root, so it has a value of just m, and then you're grouping together, so c is your correct match. So you can see that questions like 7 do pop up very frequently on the SATs, where they present a equation, usually in terms of physics, because they do involve very complicated forms. And you're just simply rearranging the equation and simplifying with respect to a specific variable that they're asking for. Okay? Very good. Let's move on to number 8. Um, they're presenting a fraction form, and they're asking for a modified form of 6j over k. And what did you guys do initially? Well, what I thought was, oh, the variables are actually flipped in the reciprocal form. So I did k over j, and I moved the 6 on the right-hand side so you would be dividing it by 6, right? So it would be 1 over 54. And then when you flip the equation itself, you have j over k is equal to 54. And your final step, since you're multiplying 6 to this entire equation, that's all you have to do. You multiply it by 6, and you have your final answer choice. You guys can do this without a calculator, right? Okay, very good. What did you guys get? You got 3, 24. So D is your correct answer. Good. So let's move on to number 9 right away. All right? So we can see that they're presenting two linear equations, and let's read the information. They are graphed in the xy plane, the two-dimensional plane. At what point, specifically, do the graphs of the equations intersect? So they are going to meet at one specific point. If one had a positive, negative slope, or two positive slopes, two negative slopes, it does not matter. So how do you solve this equation? You just have to solve the systems of linear equations and find the specific value. So, when we're looking at the first equation, I have, let me just rearrange this in terms of the y variable. So it does look a little simpler, okay? We have 6y is equal to, move everything to the left-hand side, you have 8x, negative 16. And the second equation I have, 2y is equivalent to 5x minus 3. And I think we need to somehow eliminate one variable. In this specific case, I think eliminating the y value by multiplying 3 to the entire equation will be simpler. So let me just do that real quick. And what do you get? I'll number this for you. 1 and then 2. What do you get for your second equation overall? You have 6y is equal to 15x, negative 9. And I'm going to just rewrite the first equation as it is. No, I'm not going to change anything. You have 6y, 8x, negative 16. And what would you do here? I think you should subtract the equation to get rid of the y value, right? The variable. So you have 0 is equal to, what is 8x minus 15x? A negative value. Don't forget the negative, okay? And then you have negative 16, negative minus 9. Overall, it becomes a simple value of, good, negative 7. So from this point on, I think we can simplify this. When you move the 7 to the left-hand side, I think we can put our expression like this. And what is your final x value here? Negative. One. And there's only, there are two answer choices, but let me just check the y value real quick. So when you plug in a negative one for your x value, how do you find your y? You plug it into any equation you like. So let's, for instance, use the second equation. If you plug in a negative one, so you have 2y plus 5 is negative 3, and you can simplify for your y value, and it does pop out a negative 4. Okay? So as a typical simplifying systems of linear equation by the method of substitution and overall simplification.